Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Today we are finally power supplying our circuit. We have seen, okay, there are resistors, there can be series, they can be parallel and so on. And today we want to power supply. And today we do have a power supply which supplies voltage. So we have a power source, a voltage source. This is our, our thing today we are going to discuss today. Voltage source. What is a voltage, voltage source? A voltage source? Well, the symbol of a voltage source in a, in a circuit plan would look like this. Huh? So maybe a dot here and there's a plus or something like this. This is a voltage source, an ideal voltage source. And this voltage source, source has a voltage. Huh? Oh, U0, uh, source voltage, and there might be current rushing through this source. Uh. There's also another symbol which would show also a voltage source. It would look like that. This is usually a battery. Okay, so we have here, this is a battery. But there's also the source voltage of the battery. And there's also the current. I have already mentioned, this is an ideal source. What does this mean? What, what, what means ideal? Ideal means we have somewhere the source voltage U0, and regardless of the current which is running through, huh? so there is no dependency on the current. So this is parallel. Huh? This is an ideal voltage source, because the voltage is ideally constant voltage source. However, I'm not sure if you already mentioned or if you already noticed, yeah, not mentioned, uh, noticed uh, that we're not living in an ideal world. We live in the real world and the real world is not ideal. So how to show how a real voltage source is basically working? Well, we do have a voltage source, an ideal voltage voltage source, and then we have an internal resistance. We have an RI here, and this is now this is now the clamps of the voltage source. So it would be here. So internally, we have something ideal with an U0. But here, we only have U. This is not U0, because here, there's the current. And since here the current has to pass a resistor, here we have an internal voltage drop, UI. Okay? It's an internal voltage drop. And the bigger, let's have a look, let's have a look on, on here. Loop 1, mesh 1, U0 equals U plus UI. This means U is U0 minus ui all right so and this is u0 minus and now ohm's law ri multiplied by i this is the relation between between uh, out, outer voltage and source voltage and current and you see it's linear so we're starting at current zero, we start at U zero here. Yeah? And the bigger the current is, the more the voltage is dropping. 
So a real behavior, and now I take the big pen, uh, because this is what is actually happening real, it's linear, but dropping. Uh, this is real. The voltage depends on, on the current. The higher the current, the lower the voltage. Reason is this internal resistance. And then maybe some ask, yeah, but, uh, then I don't build in this resistor. Huh? <laughs> it's not built in. It's there. Yeah, you cannot avoid it. It's simply there. These are uh, because of, of the behavior of the, of the power source, uh, of the voltage source. You cannot just remove it. There is no resistor inside. It behaves just like, resi uh, like a resistor. Okay, it just behaves like that. It is not really built in. Nobody would build in an, an RI. This is the behavior if we do have here, uh, here we can think about, here we would have an RL, uh, load resistor. And this load resistor might have Different, different sizes. This is the common, common case. But however, there are also other operations. For instance, there is uh, the open circuit. So let's have a look at the open circuit. What does it mean? It means RL is not there. Yeah. What does it mean for the resistance? Resistance is, is infinity. Yeah. So RL is infinite ohms. Yeah? Because it's, it's not simply not there, it's removed. Yeah? Open circuit. How much current? Zero amps. If it's open, there's no current. Yeah? So this means U equals U0. Yeah? When we have an open circuit on a voltage source, source, we measure the source voltage of the ideal source inside. This is called open circuit, and this is also called an open circuit voltage, or no load voltage sometimes. Is open circuit voltage, yeah. open circuit. Yeah. In German, it's Leerlauf. Uh, no. Maybe we could write no load, yeah. NL, no load voltage, or also no load voltage. And the no load voltage is the voltage of the power source, of the voltage source inside. Open circuit. Huh? Then we have a short circuit. Short circuit means just connect those two huh? with a, fit, a big fat conductor. Huh? Must not really be big and fat, but however, must be big usually because then there is RL equals zero ohms. So there is no resistance at all. It's just a connection. It's just a connection. What does it mean for the voltage? If this and this are connected, those two, how much voltage is there in between? Zero. This means we have a voltage U equals zero volts. What would it mean for UI? UI is, if we have this U is zero, U is zero, and UI and U must be the same. Must be the same. U zero and UI must be the same because U is zero. 
So this means for our current I, our current I, we have here ui, which is u0, divided by ri. This is the current, yeah? and this is the short circuit, short circuit current. Kurzschlussstrom in German, short circuit current. So, if you do have an open circuit, you can determine the source voltage. If you do have a short circuit, you can determine Ri. And now, what would be ideal? What would be the ideal internal uh, resistance of a voltage source? Look at that. This is real. This is ideal. Uh, ideal Ri is zero. Okay, this means we, w we tend to have this Ri as low as possible. This would most perfectly fit to the ideal voltage source. If Ri is very small, huh, and we look at this, U0 is this constant, Ri, Ri is very small, I is getting the short circuit current is usually very big, very, very big. Yeah? This is why, I don't know if you use a car battery, huh, 12 volt, Lead accumulator, put some heavy conductive material over two bowls. This will really get hot because there is a lot of current running. And lead accumulators usually have a very high RI. So never short circuit something. Yeah? Never short circuit a voltage source. Because there is a lot of current. They are involved. Yeah? It's getting hot and stuff. Short circuit. Yeah, and then we have, of course, normal operation. So we have an RL, which is sim simply something. Yeah, and then we have how much is this U? This U is I multiplied by RL. Hmm? And the i is usually uh, u0 minus u divided by ri. And this is ui here. This is normal operation. I we just talked about this. These are the things yeah, on the voltage source. So never, never short circuit the voltage source. Uh, ideal real behavior. Yeah, what is a voltage source? A voltage source are the things we usually have. Uh, no, your plug to load your phone and stuff. This is all a voltage source. Yeah. Where is a voltage source? There might be another type of power source as well. The current source. Typical current source is, for instance, an inverter for welding. Current source. What is behind a current source and how, where the differences, the symbols and so on, we will talk about in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.